Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. I just wanted to bring you a quick little video about one of my favorite juices that I make. This right here, notice how beautifully green it is. Um, and I wanna share a little tidbit with you. When your juice is this green, it's because the enzymes inside are still alive. They're still active. Once the enzymes are exposed to oxygen for a long amount of time, so normally like 24 hours or something like that, maybe even depending on what vegetables you're juicing, a little less than that, they start dying off. And then this, if I give this 24 hours in the um, refrigerator, it's going to start looking a little bit more brown than this vibrant green. So I know that most of everything that I put in there was green, so it should look vibrantly green. So obviously if you do something like beets, your juice is going to look different, but it's still going to look vibrant. It's still going to look really, really bright. The longer it sits in your refrigerator, the longer those cells have to ox oxygenate, oxygenate, whatever, um, or are exposed to oxygen, the cells die off. So you can tell when your juice is good and when it's bad. I honestly, if I've kept my um, juice in the fridge a little bit too long, maybe like 24 hours, and I probably will still drink it. I'm just knowing I'm, the um, enzymes aren't as alive. Now, you have live living cells, so we want to feed ourselves live living things, giving life to your live cells. It makes sense. There's different things that you can do to kind of help prolong the life of your juice. Juicing lemons into your juice helps definitely keep those enzymes uh, alive a little bit longer as it's a natural preservative. But again, for the standard American diet, if you're not getting anything and you just started juicing and you put your juice in there and it's been 24 hours, you can still drink that juice. Okay, so now I'm going to get into what is in this juice. This juice is uh, three or four cucumbers, two lemons, a big bunch of parsley, and about an inch, inch and a half of ginger. I love ginger because I love the taste, but also it's an anti-inflammatory. I've been having um, a stiff joint in my wrist, so I just juice ginger because I know that's an anti-inflammatory. Parsley is awesome for your blood and also a heavy detoxifier. Remember, herbs are healing to your system. And again, just helps purify that blood, high in chlorophyll. Um, parsley is just awesome to add, plus I love the flavor of that too. Lemons, we've talked about before, great for the lymphatic system, great for preserving your juice. And cucumber, once again, great for um, flushing out the system. High water content helps push your ginger and your parsley through the juicer. Great for your skin tone, get your kidneys flushing. It's all good. So again, with these videos, it's not my intent to overwhelm you with information and get you hyper stuck on what does what and how it does it and how you can heal yourself. I'll give you a really, really awesome healing tip. God wants to heal you. He wants to do it himself. So if you're trying to heal something, maybe you've got excess weight you're holding on to, whatever it is has kind of brought you to juicing, just surrender to the process. Let the Lord have whatever you're carrying, whatever your fears are. Sit in silence and let him speak to your heart. Is juicing something he wants you picking up or does he, is, does he want to do something else with your time? Because trust me, takes a minute and anybody who's juiced before you all know cleaning the juicer it's like one of the worst his yoke is light friends so spend time praying and seeking the lord have him direct and guide your footsteps and um you're gonna have much joy much peace much love i love you guys hope you have a great great day and i'll see you next time